Hi, my name's Claire and this is Stitch Him Sew. Thank you so much for joining me today for my episode of Sew Frugal 2023. Now, obviously we're towards the end of the month, so only a couple more days really to get your sewing mates in if you haven't started. So my take on the video today is to look at quick and easy sewing patterns for the whole family. So I really hope you'll stick with me today. You'll enjoy my selection of patterns and we will get cracking on the pattern. So what I've decided to do is sort of split it down into kids, uh, women's wear and um, men's wear patterns with the focus obviously on patterns that are quick and easy to sew up so that if you haven't yet made a start, you could pick one of these and still make your entry. So very quickly, I will just whistle through the rules of the challenge because by now you will have this off pat. Uh, so the idea is that you pick fabric from your stash or perhaps like a duvet cover that you've got lying around. So something that you're, you're not buying additionally, something you've already got. You pick a free pattern that is free to everybody. So something that you can find online. You sew it up, you post your make on Instagram, tagging in the lovely Sam Frugalissima and Varan the Yorkshire Sogo, our two wonderful hosts, on the 31st of March. And that is it, basically. <laughs> so easy peasy to take part. Um, the last couple of years, this has been a really successful challenge. The sewing community has got really behind it. And there are a great array of different um, companies that have also got behind it to sponsor prizes as well so thank you to those as well. So there has been a whole vlogging tour going on this month so there are lots and lots of patterns out there for you to have a little look at so please do go ahead and check out some of those other vloggers as well not least to mention our lovely hosts Sam and Ruan so please check out their videos too. So yesterday the person who put their video out was the lovely Stephanie from Stephanie Farrell Focus and tomorrow it is uh, the sewing warehouse so please do check out those videos too and I will have put some graphics up on the screen of all about the rules and things and the other vloggers that have taken part this year as I say there are a whole host of prizes that are up for grabs as well that are being picked at random I believe so let's move on to the patterns that I have selected. Now, excuse me if I look down, obviously I've made a few notes for this um, and I will pop some images and things up on the screen of the patterns that I have selected. So obviously I'm, in relation to kids, I am thinking about things that I can sew up for my two boys. However, all of the patterns that I am talking about are unisex patterns you can sew they would equally work just as well um, for girls so perfect from that point of view so when i was putting together the list of different patterns for this challenge not only was i thinking about quick and easy patterns but perhaps um patterns that i could use up some remnant fabrics that i've got um, and smaller cuts of fabric from, from different projects that I've got. So hopefully I will be able to use some of those um, throughout this challenge as well. And that is particularly useful when it comes to up, sewing up children's wear because obviously you just generally need less fabric. So the cu first couple of patterns are for joggers patterns. Now there's several different options out there more than obviously what I've put down here but two that I have found recently are the gym joggers by Ickety Patterns. Now to get this pattern you need to sign up to their newsletter. It gives you a, a couple of different options that you can pick as your free pattern um, but this looks like a great free pattern with a pretty good size range on it for kids as well. And the other one is from Tanya's Closet. Now she has got several different takes of joggers on there. There is one that's got a side um, striped down uh, ones with and without pockets but essentially it's exactly the same pattern that she um, has used to create all of those she's just tweaked the design slightly to provide different kind of views of it if you like so that is another great free pattern for joggers patterns now another thing that is really great to sew up for children because you can do lots of color blocking and things is a t-shirt now the DIBY club um, 
has got a free pattern which is the anything but basic t-shirt and this is a pattern I have used several times before. My only caveat I would say to sewing this up is that it does come up quite small so you might want to size up rather than going by the true age on it. I mean my kids are quite tall um, and so I, I always kind of tend to size up for them anyway just so I can get a bit of longevity out of it but I would definitely, I definitely found that I needed to size up more with this particular pattern than other patterns, but it is, it is very well drafted other than that um, and comes together super quick and is very easy. Now Brindle and Twig are another company that have got some great children's patterns and they've got a number of different free patterns and I'm going to talk to you about two of them today. The first one is the Raglan hoodie. So this is just a great pattern for a free pattern. I, um, my children really love a hoodie uh, but if you are not into a hoodie they also do a ring a tee which has got a long sleeve option that has got cuffs on the bottom, it's got a hem band so essentially is a t um, you can either sew up as a t-shirt or more of a just your standard crew neck jumper and so I think that is a great option that's got some great versatility in that pattern um, and would be a great one to sew up for kids. I've got some hidden away under my desk. I've got a few different fabrics um, that I'm hoping to make some children's clothes out of. Possibly need to do some colour blocking so that I can use up some remnants and things, but all will be made out of things from my stash. Now that my next section of quick and easy makes are for menswear. Now if you are looking um, for some other menswear free patterns, the lovely Adam from Adam Sews did a great video on men's free patterns as well. So I do encourage you to check that out and I'm sure there's you know lots of other people have included menswear patterns as well but I know that Adam particularly um, specialised in his video in menswear. So I picked out several patterns for men also and the first pattern is again by Tanya's Closet and that is the turtleneck sweatshirt. Again I'm going to put images in of all of these. I just think this is a really useful item to have in your wardrobe as a layering piece but is not much, that much difficult than sewing a t-shirt. You've just got a different type of neckline on. If anything it's probably easier to put in than your traditional neckband on a t-shirt because you haven't got to worry about it, it lying flat. So from that point of view, it's probably even easier than sewing up a t-shirt. So a great, simple, easy pattern. The next free pattern is from Mood Society and that is the, the Woodsia shorts pattern. Now this is a cargo shorts pattern, which if you were to do all the details of all the pockets and everything, would make it a more complex and not a particularly speedy sew. However, I really like this pattern and so I wanted to include it as one that if you pared it down a little, I think it would be a relatively quick make um, and is something I would definitely be looking at sewing for my husband at some point. Prob if I'm honest with you, probably not this month, um, maybe next month. We will see how we get on um, but I don't have any fabric that would be suitable for that because I think it probably needs a, a heavier weight fabric that I don't think I've got anything suitable that's in my stash currently. If you are after a much more simple shorts pattern for men, Melly Sews has got a great pattern available and it is basically very similar to sewing up some pyjama bottoms but have got pockets in as well and obviously cut off for shorts this one will come together super quick and could either be used to uh, for you know pajama shorts or for shorts for you know the summertime so a great pattern and finally for men I've also put down a t-shirt pattern for them now the DIY B Club also does an anything but basic t-shirt for men um, a great, it looks to be a great pattern. I have to admit, I haven't sewn this one up in the past, um, but it does look like it is a 
will be a good pattern um, and it comes in a good size range and it also has two different lengths a standard and a tall version so that's quite good in terms of not potentially not having to make too many adjustments to the pattern now moving on to ladies patterns the first one that i found is for a pj's pattern for like a short set uh, i'll pop a picture up this looks like a super simple sew and as with all free patterns is such a great way if you haven't tried out a pattern company before it's a great way of trying out their pattern drafting and their block and things like that so i have never sewn an assembly line pattern before so i would very much like to make this one if i can find a fabric in my stash that is appropriate because i'm not sure that i do have enough of that type of fabric that you would sew it up with but we will see what i come up with the next pattern is from sew mag so obviously they have patterns that come in their magazines but they also have patterns on their website that you can download the pattern and the instructions for and this pattern is for a square neck uh, t-shirt now i just thought that that would be a slightly more interesting than your basic sort of t-shirt that sort of square neckline i think would be rather flattering um I, yeah i just thought that it was a little bit different from your regular t-shirt but hopefully wouldn't take too much longer than a regular t-shirt but would just be a little bit more interesting in your wardrobe um what i would say is if you are a true beginner so mag instructions are not the best there are, is definitely some assumed knowledge along the way so it may not be your best item to start with if you haven't already sewn an item before Another item from Sew Mag is their t-shirt dress. Now, if you are a fan of the Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha t-shirt dress, but you don't have that book, um, this basically looks essentially exactly the same as the Tabitha t-shirt dress. It doesn't have quite the same size range on it. That would be my only caveat to it. Um, but even if the, you're not within those particular size ranges you could take the principles of what they've done to create the dress from essentially any t-shirt pattern um, and use it to uh, lengthen your t-shirt pattern and, and know what to do from there so i thought that might one that might be a useful pattern the last pattern i've got to talk to you today folks is the it's always autumn pleated skirt now this looks like a great pattern because you draft it yourself so there's no need to worry about whether it's in size inclusive or not because you design it to your own measurements there's just a front and a back and a waistband and it shows you how to put your pleats in etc um, it looks like it would come together pretty quickly and it's just a little bit different um, to some of the other skirt patterns that I have seen out there. So I thought I would add that one as well. So that rounds up my ideas for quick and easy makes for the whole family for So Frugal 2023. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video and that you've got some ideas and inspiration for something that you might be able to sew up and still take part in So Frugal. Thank you so much to Sam who is Frugalisma and Ruan the Yorkshire Sew Girl for hosting the challenge and for all the amazing sponsors who have put forward prizes as well. There's lots of work that goes on behind the scenes to make these challenges happen so thank you so so much. So please do check out all the other vloggers that have taken part um, in the vlogger tour and those that come after me as well and I will round up by saying take care, happy sewing, bye bye. Thank you.